Welcome back to another comparison video by Hedy Guy YouTube. I'm G and I'll be taking you through the quick specs comparison between the DJI M200 and the new M300. This comparison is directly comparing key features of the two drones and is made as objective as possible. It's easy to say the M300 will win in this comparison from the very start, but let's see how and why it will win. And that's what's so important. Let's see some of these key specifications at a glance. IP rating. The M300 RTK is IP45 compared to the M200 series V2's IP43 rating. This ensures that the M300 RTK is more tolerant of wet weather. While the M200 series V2 can operate in light rain, typically less than 10 millimeters a day, while the M300 RTK is protected against low pressure jets of water, which is significantly more than a light bit of rain. Flight time. One of the key selling points of the M300 RTK is its increased endurance. The M300 has a maximum flight time of 55 minutes without payload, compared to the M200's 38 minutes. It's an impressive stat, but let's face it, when it comes to the Matrice range, the drone is nothing with out its payload. When the M300 is loaded to full capacity, it can last for approximately 31 minutes, longer than the M200 drones. Payloads. The M300 RTK can lift up to 2.7 kilograms worth of payload. This is compared to the 1.45 kilograms of the M200 V2. The M300 has the ability to carry up to three payloads at once. This is a first for the Matrice series, offering enhanced efficiency and output. The M200 V2 is the most limited of the bunch, confined to carrying just one payload in a downward gimbal position. We have an entire in-depth blog about this comparison, so be sure to see the link in the description to find out more. Transmission range. The M300 RTK benefits from DJI's new OcuSync Enterprise Transmission System, capable of achieving a maximum transmission range of 15 km FCC or 8 km CE. In contrast, the M200 Series V2 has OcuSync technology, which yields a maximum transmission range of 8 km FCC and 5 km CE. Safety features. The M300 RTK provides a new level of drone safety, increasing the in-flight safety and aircraft stability. Dual vision and TOF sensors appear on all six sides of the aircraft. The drones in the M200 series V2 don't have all those new features, but they still have three directional sensors, front, bottom, and upper, and top and bottom anti-collision beacons, as well as utilizing DJI's air sense technology. So make no mistake, the M200 200 series V2 drones are still an incredibly reliable option. Another really interesting feature about the M300 RTK is its ability to do an emergency three propeller landing. We have a video on this if you'd like to go check it out and the link is in the description. The quick final thoughts and conclusion. All this information isn't to say that the M200 series don't have their uses. They are extremely useful and still have a lot of power behind them. It's important to highlight that the M300 RTK is not a replacement for the M200 Series V2. It's just another drone for another type of job. Click subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. Thanks for being part of the drone community.